Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing graph deletion operation and in the previous tutorial we wrote a function for delete node operation using adjacency list representation. Today let's write a function to perform delete edge operation using adjacency list representation. So first let's see how to delete an edge from the undirected unweighted graph. Now if I want to delete this edge in this graph then I need to mention delete edge cd that is while calling delete edge function or delete edge operation we need to mention two vertices v1 and v2 right here v1 is c v2 is d now here I want to delete this edge so this operation will delete this edge after deleting the edge this graph will look like this and next let's see what changes we need to do in the dictionary after deleting an edge from the graph. So here we deleted an edge between C and D. That's why first we need to do changes in the value of key C. First we need to get the value of C and here we need to delete D. Because now C is not adjacent to D. This edge is deleted. That's why we need to delete D from this list. So we need to perform graph of C remove D. We are using graph of C to access this value, this list. And in that we need to remove D. That's why we are using this. So here C is nothing but V1. D is nothing but V2. We need to perform this operation. And also now there is no edge from D to C. So D is not adjacent to C. That's why we need to do changes here also in the value of key D. Here we need to remove C because now D is not adjacent to C. So we need to perform graph of V2 dot remove V1. That is graph of D dot remove C. From the value of key D remove C. So this is in the unweighted undirected graph. So let's write the function for this. So here we have our program. So here in this program, we are using a dictionary graph. In this program, we are implementing graph using adjacency list representation. So here we are taking a graph that is an empty dictionary. Later, we'll add node and add edge using these two function, add node function and add edge function. In the previous tutorial, we wrote a delete node function. Today, let's write delete edge function. DEF delete edge. I'll take the function name as delete edge and here I need to mention v1 and v2. We need to mention two vertices while adding an edge or deleting an edge. We need to mention v1 and v2 and here the first step is we need to check whether v1 and v2 that is the given two vertices are present in the graph whether it is present in the graph or not. So for that I'll use if v1 not in graph. You are familiar with these two conditions, right? Because we already discussed about this condition many times. Before deleting the edge, first we need to check whether v1, v2, the given two vertices are present or not. If it is not present, then we can't delete any edge from that, right? If v1 and v2 are not present, that means that two vertices are not present in the graph. If vertices are not present, then how to delete the edge between them, right? That's why first we need to check this condition. We already discussed about this condition many times while adding edge as well as while deleting the edge using adjacency matrix representation. So I won't explain you about this again. Right. If the control comes here in the else part, that means both V1 and V2 are present in the graph. Now what we need to do, we need to delete the edge between the V1 and V2. For that, first I need to get the value of key V1, graph of V1 dot remove V2. Here graph of v1 is used to access the value of key. In the dictionary, if I want to access any value, then we need to mention its key. Here graph is a dictionary, v1 is the key. We are accessing the value of v1. In that list, we are removing v2. And also we need to perform graph of v2 remove v1. I already explained you why we are writing this condition, right? Now we are done. But there is a graph like this and if I perform delete edge between B and C. B and C both nodes are present in the graph that's why control will come here and it will perform graph V1 remove V2. But there is no edge between B and C. 
so that means c is not present in the value of b so if i try to do this now we'll get error because c is not present in b and b is not present in c because both are not adjacent to each other nodes are present in the graph but there is no edge between them at that time this function fails that's why what we need to do is before performing this operation we need to check if we want to remove v2 from graph of v1 right so i need to check whether it is present in graph of v1 if v2 in graph v1 if it is present then only perform this operation now here you can see in this condition first it will check if v2 in graph v1 here v2 is um, c whether c is present in the value of b no it is not present so this condition fails so it won't execute this code now I didn't write the separate condition for this case that is I didn't check whether v1 is present in graph of v2 that is because this is an undirected graph if v2 is present in the graph of v1 that means v1 will be present in the graph of v2 this is an undirected graph that's why that's why no need to write the separate condition for this okay now we are done we wrote this function for unweighted undirected graph now to execute this program first we need to do some changes in this uh, functions we want this function to work for unweighted undirected graph so we need to do changes in the add edge function and here we need to add v2 as well as v1 it is for undirected unweighted graph no need to do any changes for delete node because we are not using delete node function here we are not calling this delete node function that's why i'm not doing changes to this now we are done so let me take few values okay so here you can see here we are representing this graph okay now let's delete an edge between c and d so here delete edge call delete edge and here pass c and d let's execute this so here we have this before deleting the edge cd next here you can see this is after deleting the edge here we are doing changes to c here d is deleted from the d c is deleted so this is working for unweighted undirected graph now we need to change this for directed graph in the directed graph when i delete an edge for example we are deleting this edge from f to c at that time what we need to do we need to access the value of f and here we need to go here and we need to remove c from this that's it right so here if i write f and c this is v1 and this is v2 so we need to access the value of v1 that is f and i need to remove c from that that is v2 so here no need to do this second step because this is a directed graph right and also here in the add edge make this for the directed graph so remove this now we are done so next here i'll take few different values here here mention f c and execute here edge is removed from f to c that's why here you can see changes here now this is working for unweighted directed graph now what about weighted graph if i want to delete an edge in the weighted graph then how to write this function here you can see in the weighted graph values are nested list it is not a simple list it is a nested list in which we have uh, the node as well as the cost now if i want to delete an edge for example c to d now this what we need to do first we need to go to c okay and i need to delete this because now c is not adjacent to d so i need to delete this entire list and next i need to go to d because this is an undirected weighted graph here go to d and remove this got it right so for this first what you need to do is while calling delete edge you need to mention the cost also here done next here before deleting this i need to take a variable and here i need to take v1 and cost 
and because we are writing it for the weighted undirected graph take another list and here v2 and cost and now we need to remove this from the graph of v1 because here the values of key is nested list so that's why we need to create a list list of node and cost now here you need to check temp is present in graph of v1 if it is present then here remove v2 that is temp1 sorry here temp1 because i need to check v2 is present right here and here we need this also because undirected graph so here temp if you are getting confused where to use temp1 and temp c here this is v2 that's why here we want we want to remove v1 so v1 cost is temp that's why i need to write temp here temp1 because here v1 you need to delete v2 from here so v2 cost temp1 here we are checking whether temp1 in graph v1 or you can check whether temp is in graph of v2 also as i said it is an undirected graph so if this is present in the graph then in v2 temp also present now in the add edge you need to remove this here make this work for the weighted graph list 2 here also mention cost and also while calling this let's take some different values now let's remove c to d and cost is 1 let's execute this sorry indent it correctly now okay here you can see lots of value here we are deleting an add from c to d that's why chuck c where is that so here is c and its value d and 1 is deleted and the here c and 1 is deleted you can see right now if i mention some different cost like this then if i execute this it won't do any changes to this okay in c here you can see d1 and present and d c1 is present it won't do deletion because this edge is not present there is an edge from c to d but cost is not 10 that's why it won't perform the deletion operation if you want to print the message at that time here you can use else condition and you, here you can write the message some message okay so this is about weighted undirected graph now you know how to modify this program for weighted directed graph right you just need to remove this that's it all right so this is about the delete edge operation how to delete the given edge using adjacency list representation all right so that's it for now so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care